Following our lengthy discussion about how our day went and what we did, my mother somehow managed to bring up the topic of how I've been struggling with my self-discipline and management skills, as well as how I haven't been scheduling myself. This topic has addressed has been addressed a gazillion times before, but this time I had an alternative viewpoint. I argued that my mother should have helped me and gave me strategies for how to fix my mistakes when she pointed them out. You ought to be the one to guide me, make a plan for me, and show me how it is done. I've made so many drafts before, but none of them have worked. Why should I do it for you? She replied. It's more like I'm dictating your life. You know yourself better. Do it yourself. Learn. If a current schedule is not working, try new ones and search on YouTube. Otherwise, you do have time to search for other things as well. And then she just left me hanging. What am I supposed to do now? Everyone is skeptical about what to do after every major or minor step they take in life. Such as, I've completed my grade ten. Which college to study at next? Now that I've finished my BBA, what should I do next? Or it can be as simple as how can I create an effective schedule? We never know what the next step will carry, what consequences will be confront, and how will we deal with them. It is true that life can be entirely unpredictable. What better illustration than the COVID pandemic? So, how do we surpass these challenges? Let us go back in time. We all learned how to stand and walk, but did anyone teach you? Remember the first time you stood up? Not most of us would remember. But did anyone tell you to hold the cabinet this way, position your leg in a certain way, put a pressure, and then push yourself up? No, you did it yourself. How? You attempted. You did stumble now and then, but then you always got back up. In other scenarios, parents, people such as your parents, can definitely assist you to the right path. However, the choice is ultimately yours. the choice to attempt if we did so in the past why can't we achieve it today it seems as we grew up there are certain hindrances that we put for ourselves perfection is a roadblock to our clear mindset something that i battle with in academics if you are dissatisfied with the outcome you conclude that the method is incorrect and then you believe i've tried everything but nothing works instead try putting your choice into action If you succeed, you take the next step. If you fail, you learn. Simply invest your time that you usually use scrolling through Instagram reels and memes by jotting down your future goals, like I did. Right before my preliminary examination, I devised a plan that was suitable for me, tailored to my current strength of mind. Of course, changes do not come overnight. I made schedule modifications that helped me get slightly better results in my prelim too. Of course. This is not only limited to scheduling; it can be extended to various other ideas. Another significant obstacle to our ability to achieve our objectives is the lack of resources. It is unjust to suggest that people can achieve more if their thinking isn't restricted when they are simply denied access to resources that are available to others. However, everyone must be conscious of this. The government. as individuals because we have a better future ahead of us we must be able to better utilize the resources that are currently provided to us by applying constructive thinking as famously quoted by brian tracy a motivational canadian author there are no limits to what you can accomplish except the limits that you place on your own thinking to conclude what matters is you your mindset your ability to achieve anything you want you can accomplish anything surround yourself with positive people such as your parents well wishers and others whom you believe from the bottom of your heart as well as smart people who know what they are doing do not replicate others rather analyze and learn you can achieve anything you want because the only restriction in this world is you thank you